guess this is like my first video and currently we're in quarantine so basically well, I'm in my second year I go, to, I go to the University of Victoria and I live in Canada obviously my class was ended on like April 4th and now it's um, April 6th or they ended on April 3rd and now it's April 6th it's Monday and I have my first exam a week tomorrow and then my other two exams are the week after that and they'll just be online now so i guess really what's the most different for me is that um i am someone who i love the library i go to the library every day when i'm on campus without a doubt i get a coffee and i go to the library um almost every single day i'm on campus and especially exam week that's been my routine since the, my first ever exam week so i was really nervous basically for the fact that um classes got canceled and the schools closed or whatever and um you know we're gonna have to work at home and i was really nervous for um my productivity at home that's why i always went to the libraries because i found it really hard to focus at home just because i'm one of those people that like i guess this happens to everyone where you kind of like can't compartmentalize because like at home is where i chill kind of thing and the campus is where i work but um like, it's actually been quite good it's been quite nice i've actually been pretty good at getting up and I mean not really early because I don't I'm not a morning person I would rather work later into the night like than get up early and finish all my shit like I just I'm not a morning person and I think I've just accepted that like I don't feel the need to wake up at 6am and work out and then you know be ready by 8 like I just I've never been that person and I don't feel the need to be that person I like to have a morning. I feel like a much more fulfilled human being when I have a morning. Like I get up and I make coffee and I sit on the couch and I just like chill for a second and then I, you know, compose myself. Like if I was starting at eight, I don't even think that my brain would be on yet. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely, I've kind of like shifted my routine to be a bit more like, I, I think I'm going to make a 10 to six kind of routine where, I mean, today I started a little bit earlier or a little bit later. Today's my first day where I'm like fully making a routine, starting a routine. It's exam week, bitches, like we're doing the damn thing. Cause before I was just sort of like doing assignments and I'd study here and there, but I'm like crunching down now. Um, so I'm like gonna start a routine where I wanna be working from like 10 to six. And when I say that, I mean like, I'm gonna set up what I have to do each day and then I'm gonna be working. Like those are the hours where, I mean, obviously if I get everything done before that, that's fine, but I wanna be like, those are the hours where I'm not going to sit on the couch for three hours and watch TikToks, you know what I mean? Like, we're focused in those hours, you can break, I'm going to break. I mean, being at home, it does lead to a lot of, like, my mom's also working from home now, so, um, and I live with my mom, so there is a lot of, like, okay, I'll make a snack, I'll, like, I'll make some lunch, I'll go chat for a bit, you know, there's a lot of things I feel like I can distract myself with when I'm at home rather than when I'm at the library, so that is something that I have to work around, but I think giving myself that large, like, that's eight hours, of time where it's like you're gonna get everything done in this time meaning that like i can turn it all off at six is what i'm hoping to do and maybe even before that in my schedule so if i finish everything beforehand so basically i've made a to-do list of everything that i have to do and it's she's hefty she's hefty she's like a lot of things but i have like two weeks to get everything done and to be fully studied and since they are now my exams are online so they're only 15 percent i th i think all of mine have changed to 15 percent when they were originally like 40 percent i think that's just because there's no way that they can mediate the exams so i'm they're basically going to be open book um so i'm focusing i guess less on memorization and fully like you know studying studying i'm focusing more on the fact that like i want to have all my notes clearly written out clearly like done in my notebook and my master notes and be able to just like study the notes just like flip to whatever page i need to flip to when i need it kind of thing i just want to do that i'm going to focus less on memorization because it is sort of open book you know what I mean? so i've made my master notes and now i've set out in my planner of what i want to get done each day so um it's basically a lot of it it's just it's all just writing notes it's just like rewriting my notes and you know synthesizing data kind of thing so that is my system it's not the best and i'm like madly behind but you know i'm just a real gal and this quarantine really you know hit us in the face and 
um, I wasn't necessarily prepared for a pandemic, so it kind of like threw me off, as it probably did most of you, so I just thought I would make a video, and I kind of want to just document this time, um, and also like hopefully be able to help anyone else that's, you know, writing exams in this time too, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna make some food now that I have everything sorted out and I know what I have to do today and I don't think it's gonna take me eight hours so I'm gonna go make some breakfast and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna work you work work okay I just made some avocado toast so I'm in everything bagel and I just put like salt and pepper on it so I'm just gonna eat that and then get to work <laughs> writing notes for the first part that I needed to so like I've got all of this done my highlighting is not great I'm not great at it I just highlight everything because I never know what's a bad morning <laughs> so like to cross off one thing yay now we're on to the next one so I only have one more no packet to do and it's only which one was it 127 so I would assume today I will be done a lot earlier, so I might end up doing, like, I might end up adding more to my to-do list, just so, just because I have more time, or I might not, depending on how I feel, but I'm, you know, halfway done, technically, for the day. Alright, so I am now done my second note package that I had to do for today, so I can cross off the next, the last thing that I had to do today. Um, and it's only 3.30, so I finished much earlier than, you know, I might on some other days, but I'm kind of okay with that, it's like the first day, it was just like getting into the groove, and I think it's really important to like, and really helpful to, um, actually block out your days and figure out what you want to accomplish throughout each day, because really allows you to have the feeling of like, even though you're not done and even though studying never really ends, it, it does give you that sense of even though I'm not done everything I'm done for today. But especially in this weird ass time of quarantine and lockdown and being in the house 24-7, it really allows you to actually be like, I'm done for today. I'm going to put myself away and I'm going to chill out. I think that's super helpful. So because me and my mom are now both at home working, um, I've started working in my room, which normally I work at the... Um, dining room table and my preferred method would be the dining room table but I have been working in my room because I have a desk in my room so it just allows us to have our own spaces and um it's not bad at all I, I only sit at this desk to do my makeup and get ready I don't feel like it's super hard to work here is what I'm saying um but I think one thing that is really important is that I'm going to you know, clothes all my stuff and I'm gonna bring all of my stuff into the living room at the dining room table and put it back at the dining room table so that now the work is done, my room is not my room again. It's just my bedroom. It's where we rest, it's where we chill, it's where we hang. It is not a place of work anymore. It is now a place of chilling. So I think it's just all these little things that allow you to compartmentalize and be your most productive self and your happiest self. really important for me to develop a routine because it is such a weird ass time and I'm in like last week I did a lot of laying around I did a lot of social media time I did way too much time on my phone way too much time sitting on my couch not enough productivity like in any sense but um even just the idea of like washing your face doing your skincare routine doing something other than sitting on the couch and going through my social media, like, it still gives me a sense of productivity, which, um, I think is really important, or at least helps my mental health, is to be doing at least something a little bit different to break up the day. But I think in giving myself a routine and keeping up with it, 
is really really healthy mental health as well as working out i decided like this week i was like i should start working out every day because i really think it's gonna help me because it has helped me in the past and it does make you feel good i think we all just know it makes you feel good like there's no other way it can make you feel other than good like it just can improve your mental health um so i was like i should start doing that every day i think because i've also been eating pretty horribly i mean pretty deliciously like being my made an apple crisp the other night and like just amazing but it does it has been sort of like my body positivity and the way that I feel about myself and the way that I look is like had gone downhill a little bit so like I think working out is just balancing it all and I'm rambling I'm gonna go I'm now gonna like eat some leftover pizza <laughs> help um and just hang out for a while and then I just go probably do my you know watch some YouTube um it's currently 3.40 I'm gonna just chill for a while and then probably around five we'll do a workout. And then maybe me and mom will go for a walk maybe and then yeah. Okay, I'll just do Alright, so me and mom just got back from our walk. It was super nice and sunny out today, so that was nice. Um, and now I'm going to just do a little workout. Um, Claudia Zalewski, actually, one of my favorite YouTubers, she just uploaded a 15-minute um, at-home full-body workout or whatever. And I was doing the one that she had just put on her story saying that like she had done it. It's like get hot with Shannon or something or get fit with Shannon I have no idea but I really like that style of workout video where it's like someone is talking you through the motions and it's kind of more of like I don't know it feels like we're getting to the point it's like 20 minutes you just do it all and then she's like talking to you like telling you to breathe and like all these things like calming but you're also breaking a sweat so it's like really nice I don't really like it but she just uploaded one that's really similar to that um so I'm gonna try that one um so yeah, that's what I'm doing now, and then uh, me and my family, so we're FaceTiming with my dad and my brother tonight. Um, we do that most every week. We have since forever. We've basically since my brother went to university, we always try to FaceTime, you know, whenever we all can, really, just to keep in touch and, you know, stay present in everyone's lives. And now, especially in this weird time in life, it's good to keep up with everyone so we're facetiming tonight and then yeah me and mom are just gonna have leftover shepherd's pie and we're eating and then we're just gonna watch our show we're watching succession right now we just started it the other night it's on crave katie and john who are also youtubers um they had a video where they were recommending shows and they recommended succession on crave so or on hbo i guess and we started it so and i think it's liking it so far we just finished watching season 10 of shameless we watched the whole thing in like not a long time we started it like just a few weeks ago and it was like 10 seasons and we were just done already but um yeah so we're watching succession right now so that's basically what our plan is for the rest of the night so i'll probably touch back the base after the workout okay <laughs> i just got out of the shower and um I started this thing where, let me just show you. I've started Xing off the days where I, for one, this calendar, I literally had it as September. I just changed it. <laughs> it was literally, it said September for like eight months. And I just like didn't change it. Like that's just it goes to show like how organized I was for those months. <laughs> but I was like, well, let me do this. You know, it's no longer September. I don't really want to think about September and then I started Xing out the days where I worked out, and I think it's giving me incentive to want to continue to work out because I get to X off the days. Just a light little tip if you want one, I think it's helping. I think it might be helping. But yeah, every day having to like cross off the X and getting to being like, I did it. And I don't want to see a blank space, so I 
Well, that's a nice little tip if you need some incentive to work out or if you want just another thing, another little tip that's gonna help you out. So yeah. Okay. Now we're about to FaceTime. It's like 8.30. We're about to FaceTime and eat dinner. Hi, so I never ended up filming an outro for that. That was the last clip that I filmed was us, like me just sitting on the couch. It is April 17th now, so it's been like about a week and a half since I filmed this video, and I'm just kind of getting around to editing it. And the exam week has been going well. I mean, it's honestly been a lot more chill than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I've finished my first online exam now, and I have two next week. It's Friday right now, and I have one on Monday and one on Tuesday next week. Um, and I got an A on my first final. So that's great. I was very pleased with that. But yeah, so this is my first video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I, it's a little bit like rough around the edges and kind of a little bit boring. But, you know, I wanted to document it. And um, now it's quarantine and I'm about to be done at school in four days or something. And I basically can't get a job for the summer. So there is no better time than right now to finally start doing YouTube and posting videos because I've always wanted to and I've honestly made and edited like many a few videos over the years but I've never had the balls to actually post them so this is me now actually doing it is I really hope you guys liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more from me I will be posting hopefully regularly and I would say college unrelated content is gonna be coming your way. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.